Hey, I'm Alex. Whenever you're driving, you must keep within the speed limit. Speed limits are put in place for a reason, to keep everybody safe. There may also be times when conditions mean that it's not safe to travel at the speed limit and you need to travel at a slower speed. We're going to hop in the car with an experienced driver and I'll talk you through it. The first thing to remember is that the speed limit is the maximum speed you can travel at in good conditions. It's against the law to go faster than the speed limit. There will also be times when driving conditions aren't good, meaning it's not safe to travel at the speed limit and you need to travel at a slower speed. Like heavy traffic. This includes cyclists and pedestrians. Bad weather. Roads affected by wind, rain or ice. Bad road conditions, including narrow, windy and unsealed roads. Travelling at a safe speed means that you'll be able to stop safely if you need to. When you're driving on a road without a centre line, Make sure you travel at a suitable speed where you can stop in half the length of clear road you can see in front of you. On a road with a centre line, travel at a suitable speed where you can stop in the length of clear road you can see in front of you. Other things to look out for are any compulsory or advisory speed signs, so change your speed to suit. Variable speed zones. Some speed limits for the same piece of road can change at different times of the day. This can be due to weather or traffic conditions like school zones and motorways. Roadworks and temporary speed limits through roadwork sites. Make sure you slow down before you reach the signs. School buses. The maximum speed that you can pass a school bus that is stopped to pick up or drop off children is 20 kilometers an hour. This includes both sides of the road you are traveling on. Other road users, like pedestrians, cyclists, motorcyclists, and horse traffic. Adjust your speed to suit, even if this means driving well below the speed limit. Modern cars, particularly automatics, accelerate quickly and smoothly, and you can easily go over the speed limit without even realizing it. Always glance briefly at your speedo and make sure you're not exceeding the speed limit. So, use those tips to control your speed and you'll be a safer driver. Remember, driving too fast is one of the most common reasons for people failing their restricted test. And speed is one of the biggest causes of deaths and serious injuries on our roads. So, make a habit to keep an eye on your speed and whenever necessary, adjust your speed to suit the conditions.